hey guys welcome back to the channel so it is tuesday march 12th yeah march 12th and i decided i'm gonna do a weekly vlog i did say i was gonna do it initially but then i forgot and then i remember it again so really quickly um i don't want to talk too much i just want to update you guys because i'm not going to do a separate invisalign video i was going to do one initially but um i decided and i changed my mind so i'm not i don't know why i'm taking my headphones my phones are connected to my ipad so if by the time you see this i already probably showed you i'm gonna need to finish editing my my main thing to right now is to edit my invisalign um update i'm sorry not my invisalign my ipad unboxing i did get myself an ipad this is the ninth generation so that video should be up soon um there's just one more thing i want to film um i did blow dry my hair for wash day this time around because i wanted some length but then when i took out my twist on like the weekend i was like i would take out my twist the weekend because that's gonna determine if i want to keep my hair how it is or figure it out and i was gonna put some clip-ins but i said you know what let's just drop the natural hair so my hair is probably looking a little crazy it's a little itchy too so i need to itch my scalp i'm i'm sorry this is real life y'all get an authentic abigail but that massage it feels so good my scalp was itching me anyway so um i did go to my invisalign appointment today and quick update so pretty much they were telling me the gap is almost closed if guys know would not know i had a big cap here because i had to pull the teeth it's almost done but there's still a little gap right there i'm um, pretty much um what they were saying or what my orthodontist was saying is that i have two options i can the next month so pretty much what i got right now is considered like i guess my retainers or like whatever not retainers but they're supposed to be my aligners actually for the bottom because i have to finish closing the gap and then she gave me one of the top so pretty much the top i'm going to be wearing like as a retainer she mentioned like the back which she didn't tell me last time I, i'm sorry but like this is why i think it's not what i think i already made my decision today i was like i was saying if in march if they tell me i have to do it longer i'm probably not gonna do it i was saying that before i even went to my appointment and then they're trying to extend it and give me a quote to do it. i'm like i'm over it i'm sorry like this is what my teeth look at like now and i'm fine with it i'm like i'm not gonna spend more money i spent so much if you saw my last invisalign update which i'll leave the cards i had to do so much last year from pulling out the tea i had to pay for that pay for x-rays but i'm not doing anything else i'm done so when I go back in the month, but she said, you know, you have time when I go back in the month to tell them, oh, if I'm going to continue extend it, I'm not extending it. I'm done with Invisalign. I'm just tired of like taking it out, putting it in when I want to eat stuff and I go out, I have to take it out. Like it's just so much like when I first got it, it was cool. But then I think too, because last year I had to stop because my tooth came out, like I'm just over it. So like I said, I got three more trays but she took out the top aligners and she said she's taking them out she's just gonna give me the bottom aligners only so she took only so all i have here is the bottom aligners um and then this top is she said she's just gonna give me the top for week 25 which would be would have been this week because my last aligners that i had in was 24 um, but I am transitioning for 25, 26, 27, 28 is going to be the bottom. I'm changing it every week. And then the top, I'm going to be putting it only at night. So pretty much I'm just going to be all day. I'll be wearing one aligner for majority of the day. And then like for me, for my night overnight, I'm just going to really just put it, probably put it after my dinner. That's what I'm thinking. Like I'll have both aligners because generally that's how I do my routine anyway. I don't want to talk anymore. I'll come back to you guys later or I don't know yet. So yeah. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update you because I feel like I haven't updated you guys. Um, last time I talked to you guys was yesterday. I don't even remember what I talked to you guys about yesterday, to be honest. But um, I went to the Bath and Body Works thing. Honestly, I could just went straight home. It was nothing like it was like I was literally there, guys, for like five minutes and then I left. And I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> the end. They gave two free um, like Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizers, but it's the bottle ones that you know, like the squeezable ones. Um, I personally like the new ones that they've just come up with, which is the sprays. So, I actually gave them to my sister because I was like, I don't really want them. I wanted to go get it for her because she said she needed hand sanitizer. So, I was like, let me just go check it out. It was pretty much a Bath and Bodies Works and Bridgerton, the show collab that's came, the collection is coming out on March 25th. 
So I'll see if they have anything intriguing when the collection comes out. But like I really like I just took the two free hand sanitizer. It was the area to like sit and take photos. But honestly, I just came from work. I had a heavy backpack. I wasn't there to be there forever. So in all entirety, I just thought about it. And I was like, I really just took a whole train to go over there for it to just be something that I stood up there for five minutes. But hey, at least I went, I saw, because today was the last day, and that's it. Um, On Friday, I want to go to the city again because there's an event that's happening, but I'm still uncertain if I want to go yet because I'm going to go check because I'm not going to go again to another event and then, like, waste my time filming and stuff like that. And Well, this one is, like, an event that, like, is a Target event, and... If you're in the Target Creator program, they pretty much said if you go, they'll give you, like, an incentive. But you got to film film content. And I actually didn't go back to see if, like, everything was approved or went through. I didn't see anything. So I have to go check because I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it tomorrow because I closed my laptop already. I'm not opening it back. I'm done for the day. Um, Because if there's no incentives, I'm not going to waste my time. So just to really quickly we're happy. Today was a very long day. Like, work-wise, it was a lot of things happening. Like, everybody's... Pretty much every grade, their schedule was changed because we had, like, trips going on. We had parents coming in for other grades. It was just a lot today. <laughs> like, I'm not going to even lie to you. Everybody was just like, today is a long day. Too much things to be going on. Because, like, every, like, almost, like, the first three periods of the day, it was something different happening. <laughs> like, so their schedule was, like, everybody's schedule was pretty much changed today in, in, in its entirety for the most part. At least the first, like, couple of periods. Um, so yeah, that day was really long, and I don't know, like, every time I come from work anyway, I'm always, I'm just always tired personally, I don't know what it is, but I'm just always sleepy, and I'm ready to sleep, that's how I am, you see me in the bonnet, I mean, I just came out of the shower, but normally, like, I normally, I think I, I already showed you guys my after work routine, so if you want to guys, want to check it out, I'll link it, plug it, but that's really what I do every day, I have my dinner, and then I talk about, is love is, Netflix, why are you guys playing with us? I'm here Wednesday, they're like, oh, it's coming out. So I'm like, I was ready to watch or start watching it this morning. Cause tell me why they didn't post it. And then, not to mention that, then during lunch, I'm like, let me go check. Oh, now it's posting at 9 p.m. So it's going to be 9 p.m. for me because it's Eastern Standard Time. So 9 p.m., which it will convert whatever time you, wherever you live. But that's going to be, it's 8.36, so about 20-something minutes. So when I turn on Netflix, and if they don't start that reunion at 9 o'clock, I'm turning off the, compu the, the computer, the TV. Last year, I think I stayed up to wait, and it was like they had that issue with the lag. But I'm not doing that this year. If it's not on at 9 p.m., we're shutting it off. I'm giving them t a 5 to 10 minute grace period. And then, if I miss it, I'll watch it tomorrow. Because Netflix, y'all be playing every year when it comes to the reunion, is always something. Always. I don't understand. You guys are doing that purposely. I think they're doing it purposely. But anyway, that's number one. Number two, um, as you guys may have heard, there's going to be a TikTok ban. Personally, I haven't been posting my TikTok as much this week as I have been the past, oh God, the past week. So, I don't know. Like, I want to grow my TikTok, but, like, now it's, like, I feel like I'm going to post less because, it's like, why, like, waste time? Because if it does, the bill does pass. And, like, I'm just going to lose all my following anyway. The app is going to be closed. So, it's like, let's see if the Lachey's do what they're supposed to do in asking these questions. And I see they have Tiffany and Brett. And they got people from past seasons. So, let's see what's that about. Because why we got Izzy from last season? Why he over there? Izzy out of all people. Mr. Paper Plate Cups. I cannot. But I'm still watching for the tea because I watched all the season so far, so might as well end it at this point. Just might as well end the, the, the season. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm trying out these Curl Smith products. These are their fragrance free. I found them in um Marshall, the Shrine collection. Now, I decided to wash my hair in the sink because this was a Friday, honestly. And since the sunset is later... Uh, I was like, you know what, let's just wash it here today. And I was multitasking, you guys didn't know this, but I also had to wash my sister, help my sister wash her hair, so like the sink was the option, honestly. So now I'm going in with the shampoo. Honestly, I like the shampoo and the conditioner. I'll tell you guys right now as you're watching, I had no issues with them. The products were good. 
It cleaned myself really well. The shampoo and the conditioner was good in terms of the slip and the tangling. Of course, I'm going in with my shampoo brush as ever, as ever, as always, to just help me make sure I get all of everything that's stuck in my hair. And I did have gel in my hair. This is why I don't like to use gel all the time because I did like a lot of gel, and then I feel like that sun like it kind of messes up the style. Anyway, here I am going with the conditioner now. And like I said, I had slip. I had no issues with it. This is actually the first time I've tried any Curl Smith products. I've seen a lot of reviews of them, but I saw it in Marshalls, like I said, and I was like, all right, let me test it out. Fun fact, I only really only have two sets of shampoo and conditioner now. I feel like I have more styling products, and probably that's because I didn't really have my natural hair out as much. This is probably the longest in the year that I've had my natural hair out. I took out my braids I want to say in February so it's been almost it'll be almost like a full month soon I think of since I've taken out my braids actually no not braids I had weave I think I can't remember this is how much I changed my hair I can't remember I think I had weave sorry so it's been a minute So now I'm doing the shine gel now. I will say, I think this product's a good product, but I think I just, this is why I don't really do wash and go. I was like, oh, let me try a wash and go. That'll be quicker. But I think I should have known when I saw all the product, like, really getting, like, foamy, if that's the best way to say it, in my hand, that I was using way too much product. I'm naturally heavy-handed. I don't know if I'll ever not be heavy-handed. But I think maybe if I had to use less gel, it would have been flaky and it would have looked good. Um, that was the biggest issue for me, just flakiness, because I think I used way too much product, but the curls came out cute, as you guys can see, like, it came out nice, but I ended up having to wash my hair, which I discussed, um, later in this video, but I will say the product is good, it's just, this is why I just don't do wash and goes, I think if I ever use this again, it won't be for wash and go, um, I've never been a wash and girl, girly, I've tried it multiple times, but I never really loved it, I personally would just like to do a twist out, because I feel like, it looks good, but I felt like this would be a faster way to do a twist out because I did twist my hair in like bigger size cleans after like letting the hair, my hair fully dry. But even so, like I think just because I used too much product, my hair was just so flaky. It was like bad. And I'll show you guys how it looked. So as you guys see, all my half patches of hair was white. So while the curls were cute, it came out flaky. Hey guys, so I want to come really quickly to just update you guys because I think the last thing I showed you was my hair was flaky. So I had to end up what this is why I don't be doing my hair for this reason because it's always something. I wore my natural hair all last week, and then this week I was like, all right, what well, I'm gonna do with it? I feel like every week I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? Depending on the weather, blah blah. blah. So. I was naturally want to do a wash and go, which I'll show you guys. Like, the curls came out nice, but I think I'm just too heavy-handed. Or it is the product, too. I don't know, but I think it's a mixture of both. So, my hair was really crunchy, but the curls were nice, but it was all flaky. So, I ended up having to wash my hair. Like, I did, like, a quick wash, honestly, last night. I didn't want to, but I was like, I feel like today I'm going to be busy. So, I did a quick, quick, like, wash and, wash and deep condition my hair. And then I just blow it out and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do my curly clippings. And I'll say I can love my hair in a curly state. But I think I was thinking I was going to do something else. But anyway, it's fine. So as you guys can see, I and we're back to her giving hair. Her giving hair never fails me. So I did. I don't want to take this out because I did earlier. You guys seen so many videos. Um, the only difference that I did this time that I normally do was I did a side part. Normally I always do like a middle part. But this time I was like, I think I'll do something different. So I did a side part instead of a middle part. Um, and then, yeah, I just twisted my hair. I was like, let me just leave it alone. I put in, um, I'll link the hair because I always, again, 
I didn't like their hair, so I'm not just, like, free promoing. And, oh, again, they have never asked me to collab. They just gave me the code because they saw I did a review on another hair. Um, I'll leave the link to the hair. I love their hair because it just looks so natural looking. You can't even tell it was my hair. Unless I told you it was my hair, like I told you guys. Now, the front of my hair is a lot of my hair. I left a lot of leave out this time around than, like, I normally do, I feel like. For some reason. Maybe because I did a side part, so it felt like I left out more hair. But I definitely did leave more sections out. Um, and then, if you guys, again, want to see my routine, I didn't want to make this video long, and I've showed my routine on how I do my hair given hair all the time, so it's, like, nothing new. Um, but I want to show you, um, I just use this, so I just spritzed my hair, like, drenched my hair with water. That's normally what I do anyway, to get the hair, my hair back to its, like, curly state since I had blow dried it. Um, uh, and then I just went in with the Thirsty, I mean, sorry, no, I'm just not Thirsty Curls, because I, I was initially going to use Uncle Funky's Thirsty Curls, but I literally had a drop. This is why I tell you guys I'm a brand ambassador, but I actually rock with their products. I'm like I'm not only just saying it; like I generally pick up their products. They're like one of my stash because I did clear up my stash of hair products like last year, I think. Um, but anyway, I wanted a style that was just easy. I don't have to continually do my hair because I feel like too when I'm costing my hair, that's like messing it up. But anyway, um, I just used Uncle Funky's Daughter Midnight Train the leave-in conditioner, and I just like spritzed that, and then I twisted up the hair. So as you guys can see some twists um for now and then right now i'm not sure chatter but again i've done a maintenance routine i know somebody voted for it but i think i'm gonna save it for april because i didn't want to make this video too long and i already did my hair like i said i was just trying to do i feel like if i film for you guys it would take longer and also my, all my batteries were dead anyway from my camera so i'm filming on my phone for this vlog that's hopefully gonna get posted tomorrow because i haven't finished I barely um, edited it, so I have to go through and edit it because I feel like every five seconds there's something I have to do, and that's why I haven't like gotten time to edit it. Like yesterday, I had to rewash my hair, and I was already late by the time I rewashed my hair because I was doing other stuff. And then today, I've been on the move because I had to. I wash my bathroom on Sundays. That's like every Sunday, and then I decided, you know what? We're just doing the clippings. I decided last night, but I was like, I'm not doing it last night because I was tired. I was knocked out by I don't know, maybe eleven a show i was watching the show and i fell asleep during the show and then i woke up luckily my ipad turns off by itself so then i woke up i was like where am i and i looked it was like five something and then yeah i just went back to sleep i just rearranged my stuff and went back to sleep or something um anyway i'm doing my toes again like i said i already done so many maintenance videos which i'll leave a cards of it or in the description box you guys can check it out but i will do one eventually just not probably in april when i go on my spring break i feel like by then my toes will look bad but it was time for me to do my toes um, i'm just gonna do the polish now so i'm not gonna show you all that because again i've showed every time so many times of how i do my um my at home maintenance i'll save that for april because i have a lot of days off in april so i feel like i have time to film it um but your girl got to go back to work tomorrow, so I just wanted to do everything quick. And then, and also, I kind of just want to relax. It's already 12.31. I just start my day a little later, though. I will say that. So, I feel like that's why kind of, like, the day is going, like, faster. Um, but Hi, guys. So, the last thing I wanted to add in this video is that I did collab. Hayo sent me their heat corn pad. And pretty much, it's supposed to be a heating pad. It has corn inside of it actually which i think i opened to show you guys what's in there and pretty much how you're supposed to use it is you warm it up for 30 seconds one time and then you warm it up another 30 seconds so it's pretty much a full minute now the corn apparently is made from in virginia and the product is hand sewn and so as you guys can see i'm doing the first 30 minutes they said the first 30 minutes i believe i mean sorry not 30 minutes sorry 30 seconds is to help the product take away the smell and then the second time i guess is for it to be hot now it did get really warm but i would say like you probably would have to reheat it here and there if you want it to last long but at first it felt like light but then when i actually applied the product which you guys will see um at the end of the video under my foot i could feel like it getting warmer so i feel like once your body kind of like touches the the heating pad that's when you kind of feel that the product is getting warmer so as you guys can see i had it just laying on my bed and then i was trying it for my ankles because my f ankles always hurt from constant i think walking anyway thanks for watching watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye